Hello everybody, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are talking about Young's double slit experiment. We know in the case of interference, we will get bright and dark spots on the screen. Now we would like to know where do we get a bright spot and where do we get a dark spot on the screen in terms of the path difference and the wavelength of the light used in the experiment. In the previous video lesson, we have derived an equation that y is equal to capital D by small d and delta x. To show you what is these values are, though they were done in the video lesson, previous video lesson, just for the sake of reference, say so this is a slit S1, slit S2, we are going to act like the sources as for the Huygens principle. This is the screen. Distance between the slit and the screen is capital D, where that capital D is much greater than that of the small d. Then, there is a point on the screen, P. These two waves met together and produce a bright and dark spot. This is Y. This is what delta X is. S1P is greater than S2P by a certain value. S2P is traveling extra distance to reach that point P. That's called path difference. This is the equation that we have derived. Now, we would like to substitute what's the value of the delta X is. We have proved earlier that if I resultant is 4I naught cos square 5 by 2, with respect to phi, resultant will vary for a value of the phi 0, 2 pi, 4 pi and so on, 2 pi times of n where n starts from 0, 1, 2, 3 onwards, i resultant is maximum, that is 4 i naught, we get bright spot and that kind of interference is called constructive interference. Now we want to express that not in terms of the phase difference but in terms of the path difference. We have proved in the previous video lesson that relation between phase difference and path difference is delta phi equal to 2 pi by lambda into delta x. Delta phi for a bright spot condition is something like 2 pi into n. Then 2 pi into n equal to 2 pi by lambda into delta x. 2 pi 2 pi can be cancelled. It implies condition for the bright spot in terms of a path difference delta x is nothing but equal to n lambda. Writing this condition here in this equation, we can write y nth bright spot is capital B by D small d and n lambda. So at all these locations where n equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 onwards, I will get a bright spot. That kind of interference is called something like constructive interference and bright spot. So we can say y 0th bright spot is at 0, y first bright spot is capital D by D of lambda, y second bright spot is capital D by D of 2 lambda and so on. What you can notice is this is the 0th bright spot. This is the zero th bright what we can see is this is the zero th bright spot. This is the first bright spot. This is the second bright spot. The distance between all these successive bright spots on the screen is uniform. You can say y1 minus y0 or y2 minus y0 and so on is constant. V is equal to capital D by D of lambda minus 0 and so on. That is called the distance between two successive bright spots which is technically called as fringe width in the Young's double slit experiment as capital D by D of lambda that is shown with the letter beta. So fringe width beta is distance between two successive bright spots proved as capital D by small d into lambda where capital D is the distance between the perpendicular distance between the slits and the screen and small d is the small distance between the screens. We can prove the same even in the case of this dark spots also. We know i resultant is 4i naught 
cos square phi by 2 if phi is pi 3 pi as we have explained in the previous video lesson 2m minus 1 of pi where m starts from 1 onwards i resultant is 0 that's called dark spot destructive interference substituting them delta phi equal to 2 pi by lambda into delta x for dark spot the condition is 2 pi by lambda into 2m minus pi of lambda no 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 it's the value of delta phi so we need to rewrite yeah just give me a second we'll rewrite delta phi is 2m minus 1 of pi equal to 2 pi by lambda into delta x so pi and pi can be cancelled so delta x the path difference between them is 2m minus 1 of lambda by 2 substituting in the relation that we have y we can write y dark as capital D by D 2m minus 1 of lambda by 2 where m is 1 onwards and so on for the destructive interference so we can say y dark 1 is capital D by D in the place of m you have to put 1 that is 2 minus 1 that is lambda by 2 y dark 2 is capital D by D in the place of m you have to put 2 4 minus 1 will be 3 3 lambda by 2 and so on the distance between two dark successive dark spots is also equal to capital D by D lambda by 2 3 minus 1 that's going to be equal to be again capital D by D lambda because 2 and 2 gets cancels so it's very clear that the distance between two successive bright spots or even the distance between two successive dark spots which is called as a fringe width of the Young's interference pattern is constant that is capital D by D of small lambda even this fringe width by capital D is called something like angular fringe width it's an angle in terms of the fringe width who is equal to lambda by small d where lambda is the wavelength used and small d is the distance between the slits thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you